Throughout Middle Tennessee, the cleanup process begins for thousands as they sift through the debris left behind from yesterday's early morning tornadoes. Yeah, Gretchen Ross spent the day in East Nashville as people there start sorting through the rubble and help their neighbors who are in desperate need. She joins us now live with the story. Gretchen. Good evening, Donna and Kevin. I'm here along 11th Street, and you can see behind me home after home here hit hard by that EF3 tornado. You can just see how strong the winds were and the destruction that that storm left behind. Nearby pizza shop roof ended up landing in the front yard of this home, and the owners tell me it's the worst damage they've ever seen. It's just surreal. You know, you really don't wrap your brain around it. You're just, you're totally overwhelmed. As Lisa Goodpastor takes a look at the damage to her rental home, she can't believe the historic house is destroyed. It was a beautiful home. People always, you know, when they stop by, we'll talk about. Built in the early 1900s, the East Nashville house turned flower shop was ravaged by Tuesday's tornado. We're not even sure that structurally it's going to, you know, we're still waiting, like everybody else, for insurance. Homes next to good pastors also not spared, with bricks and siding ripped off, insulation hanging in the trees. Bricks torn from a historic YMCA building scatter nearby. Just a few feet from the destruction, hope builds as volunteers gather to pack meals. Um, just to give back and help the community. Um, we had friends lose their houses. Luckily, we are okay. Um, but just just doing anything that we can do to help. Karen Kipke and her daughters working to lend a hand to neighbors in need. Okay, ladies, how we doing? Good. Gratefulness and gratitude that you have, you feeling blessed, um, but then at the same time, like just the outpouring of what can we do to help. And that's the phrase I heard here by so many people throughout the day. What can I do to help? I'm here to volunteer. We still have many folks walking around right now offering to help, give out food, supplies, water, and many of them tell me they won't leave this community until it's fully restored. Reporting live in Nashville tonight, I'm Gretchen Ross. Back to you. All right, All right. Gretchen, thank you.